From the LUTV Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, California, this is Brief News Brief, a brief look at today's trending news topics. Proudly combating the thought police since 2016, here's your host, James Heaney. I'm James Heaney, and this is your Brief News Briefing. Hackers have breached Wall Street. Top regulators are coming under fire today, and they're admitting that hackers had breached the database of corporate announcements back in 2016, and it might have been used for insider trading. That means, can you really trust who's making money off of Wall Street? I've always thought Wall Street was a big gambling scam, but now it feels like it's being puppeteered by some nefarious people. And this is coming two weeks after credit reporting company Equifax Inc. said a breach had exposed 143 million U.S. customers. Now, if you're not familiar with Equifax, this is a company that when you're applying for a job or maybe a loan, they check your credit. And if you're not familiar with the number 143 million, that just simply means that if you're watching this with someone else, at least one of the two of you has been hacked. And your credit, well, it's unreliable at this point in time, any any reporting that they do. (sighs) <sighs> it's supposed to protect your identity. If if they're supposed to protect our identity, I guess it goes back to the age-old statement of who watches the watchman? The Russian investigation is hurling itself forward as Mueller is reported to be seeking out White House documents relating to the firing of Michael Flynn, the firing of James Comey, Trump's meeting with Russians in the Oval Office, Trump's role in response of John Jr.'s meeting in the Russia. It sounds, it sounds like a shitstorm. It sounds a lot like chapters in a book. Chapters on a book of like how not to be president. The entire island of Puerto Rico is without power. It's expected to take four months to regain power. Hurricane Maria, which passed through the island yesterday morning, splintered homes, uprooted trees, and completely ripped the island apart. Maria is now rolling northward, and it could deliver dangerous storm surge to the the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos, which were already reeling from the effects of Hurricane Irma. And now on to some funnier news, unless you're Lawrence O'Donnell. Lawrence O'Donnell was exposed this week for having several on-camera outbursts during breaks while filming of his show in late August. Uh, <clears throat> let's see that. What's going on? Why am I losing this? Why don't I have sound? All right, it's back. Someone's pressing buttons and turning my sound off. Who is, who's asking for a Labor Day rundown in my ear? Someone in that control room is out of control. There's insanity in the control room tonight. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? Is it on the... uh, Go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Stop the hammering. I'll go down to the goddamn floor myself and stop it. Keep the goddamn commercial break going. Call fucking Phil Griffin. I don't care who the fuck you have to call. Stop the hammering. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going on. It's either there or there. Or out there somewhere. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control shit. Any fucking thing can come into my ear at any moment. That's what I know. Anybody can get into my fucking ear at any time. Some woman talking about what we're doing after the show. Apparently the control room is out of control. Well, Lawrence O'Donnell, I just got one thing to say. Yes, of course the hammering is coming from either up there, or down there, or out there. That's pretty much everywhere. The hammering's coming from somewhere. It's hammer time. Today. President Trump announced sanctions against North Korea. He struck a deal with China in which China's central bank will immediately stop doing business with North Korea. Trump called it an unexpected bold move. Well, I'll tell you what, Donald Trump, of all of the unprecedented things that you've done, this one is less unexpected, but appreciated. I hope things work out. 
Will they, won't they, will they, won't they, won't they repeal the bill? Health care is back on the docket on Capitol Hill, and the Graham-Cassidy bill is the last best hope for taking health care away from people with pre-existing conditions. Congressmen and congresswomen went back to their districts in August, and their donors were not happy with the failure to repeal Obamacare, so they're back at it. This is what? The fifth shot from the hip behind closed doors attempt to reform a huge part of our economy with no CBO score, no congressional hearings, no regular order? This health care bill will have two primary, uh, preliminary hearings early next week, but it will be just days before lawmakers will have to make a vote on it. Isn't it important enough to be able to think about this before we put a vote out there? This is insanity! It feels like I'm in a goddamn Lawrence O'Donnell control room! Oh, my God.